Welcome to this channel and to this tutorial video of how to install Senaries into Virtual Sailor. Before we start, you should have installed the game properly on a hard drive of your choice. In my case it's a D drive for all my games. For this tutorial, it doesn't matter if you use the VSF Steam version or the installed latest VSNG Excel from the Virtual Sailor homepage, because the basic folder structure is always the same. So before you begin to install, you should find your correct main folder of your Virtual Sailor installation. Once you found it, you can open the main folder and should find inside a common and a scenery folder. The common folder is important if you use the scenaries from Rob's homepage. The link to his page will be found below in the description. So once you are on his homepage, there you should download the VSF common library first, unzip it and copy it into the common folder of your virtual sailor. It will take some time because it's a huge amount of data. But you can use all the scenery objects in virtual sailor once you installed it. For your own scenaries. This gigabyte amount of data takes long. Okay, in my case, I have a conventional slow and old hard disk on my computer. In your case, it's maybe way faster. But you don't have to wait too long, I just skip the process in this video. Once all the common files are in the common folder of Virtual Sailor, you can now start to copy and paste your scenery files from your downloaded zip folder into the Virtual Sailor scenery folder. Now that you have installed all important files for new scenarios, you can run the program. Now when you click on situations, there is no scenery to see in the menu. But I think that's normal. In my case, it's always like that. But don't worry, the scenarios you installed are there, but you have to find them on another way. Just start a new scenery. Then click on the map. And when you have the map, there is this zoom out button. You can press it as often as you have to press it to see the whole world. And there you will find your new scenarios in some boxes. Now you can click on the button move to point somewhere in your new scenery. And the boat will be warped to the new scenery. Now and there you can enjoy your latest installed scenarios. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this tutorial helped you a little bit. If you liked it, please press thumbs up. And if you like this channel, then don't forget to subscribe. You're Captain Sillyman. Bye bye.